Michelle Sherman from the University of Minnesota Agricultural Health and Safety Program. Thanks for joining us for another in our series of how-to videos brought to you by the Minnesota Fruit and Vegetable Growers Association. The topic of this video is how to check your cooler temperature using thermometers. Let's go in the cooler now and look at some thermometer options. Here we are in the cooler. It's important to have thermometers in your cooler. We have three in here. I'll tell you a little bit about those. Placement is important as well. We want to make sure that we place the thermometers in areas that are away from the fan and that are away from the door and the major pathways. That way we won't be measuring the pockets of warm air, especially as the door opens and closes. Our thermometers are here, centrally located, away from the wall, but not out in the center. We have three types of thermometers in here. Here's one type. This one's relatively inexpensive, about $4, $5. It's pretty easy to read. There is some interpretation needed because you have to look between the lines. This one's a little easier. This costs a few more dollars, but you can read it a little easier and maybe less interpretation. We also have a remote thermometer in here. This is the wireless transmitter. It has a sensor on the end, which we have out in the room. It's placed so that it gets the air from the room. The display is on the outside. It's a digital display, so people just read the numbers off of it. No interpretation is necessary, and it's outside, so you don't have to come inside to read it. It is important to have two thermometers in here, and that's because sometimes thermometers don't always work, or they don't work correctly, but having two thermometers, you're able to watch for problems and make corrections as needed. So thanks for coming in the cooler with me. Let's go outside and warm up. Different products need different temperatures. In order to find what that right temperature is, 